Grab some shaving cream from the dollar store. Sometimes odors sneak out from the bottom of our toilets. Take the shaving cream and spray it all along the crease of your toilet. With your rubber glove, spread it on so it covers and seals that whole opening. Let it set for approximately 10 minutes. You've now eliminated odors that were hiding underneath of your toilet between the seal and the toilet tank. Grab some Fabuloso from the dollar store. With a sharp object, poke a couple holes into the item. Place the cleaner inside the tank. A little bit of the Fabuloso will be released and will help clean your toilet. Grab a spray bottle. Fill the spray bottle with three quarters water. Take a cap full of downy and place it into the spray bottle. Replace the lid, give it a little shake, and you've created a wonderful air freshener that you can use anywhere in your home. Grab a small bowl, place a little bit of vanilla extract into the bowl. Also add a little bit of water. Place the bowl onto a baking sheet and place the baking sheet in an oven. Close the oven door and turn the oven on approximately 350 degrees for about 30 minutes. This will help your house smelling fresh as the vanilla extract aroma fills your home. Start by sweeping up your debris. Place a paper towel next to the debris, squirt it with some water. Sweep the debris onto the paper towel and then wipe the debris up with the paper towel. If you are using a dustpan, squirt it with a little water, sweep the debris into the pan, and it will help it stick to the pan. For those hard to reach places, place some rubber gloves onto your hand, squirt it with some water, and use your hand to wipe up the debris. It cleans it right up. For a Swifter hack, purchase a dollar store Swifter, place a dollar store fuzzy sock onto the Swifter mop, and you can use this to sweep up your floors. The great thing about this is you can wash and reuse again and again. Another alternative is to squirt it with some water and use it as a reusable mop. This works great on laminate floors, wood floors, and tile floors. See the dirt? Now all I have to do is wash and reuse. For cleaning tile floors, start by placing one part of vinegar into a bucket. Place a pool noodle onto your faucet hose and the other end into your bucket. Fill the bucket with water, nine parts water. Dip a deck brush into the mixture and scrub your tile floors. This will clean all the pores and the grout. Then with a mop, give your floor a warm water rinse. You can wash the mops afterwards and reuse them. If your vacuum cleaner is starting to smell a little stinky, this is an easy hack. Throw some baking soda inside either the bag or the vacuum cleaner itself. This will deodorize the vacuum cleaner and keep your air smelling fresh. To clean your grout, place your soft scrub into the grout. Use a toothbrush to scrub it into the grout and let it stand for about 10 minutes. Wipe it up with a clean, damp rag. Grass, mud, and dirt stains. Place some Dawn dish soap on those tough stains. Spread around to coat the whole stain and let it sit for 10 minutes or more. Lightly scrub the stain to get the Dawn into the fabric. Launder and your stains will be gone. Yellowing armpit stains. Make a paste of hydrogen peroxide and baking soda. Place onto the stain and let sit for 10 minutes or more. Lightly scrub at the stain. A toothbrush or spoon work great. Shake off the paste and launder. Clean out coffee and tea stains. Fill cups and coffee pots with water and add one Alka-Seltzer tablet per one cup of water. Let soak 10 minutes or more, scrub and wash out. Remove pink stains from your toilet. Pour some hydrogen peroxide, the 3% kind you can find at the store, into your toilet and let sit for a bit. Scrub with a toilet brush and flush. Clean up stained cutting boards. Make a paste of baking soda and hydrogen peroxide. Place that over the stain and let it sit for 10 minutes or more. Scrub and wash off. Remove marker from wood. Place regular, not gel, toothpaste on a microfiber cloth and buff that marker right off the wood. Remove hard water marks. Spray with vinegar and wipe with a paper towel or scrub with a sponge. If you have really tough hard water marks, then I recommend making a baking soda and water paste. Place that on the hard water marks, let it sit there for 10 minutes, and scrub and rinse. If you get deodorant onto your clothes, grab a clean, dry cloth and rub the clothes in the direction of the fabric until the stain is gone. Clean stain sinks. Remove food stains, pot marks, and more by sprinkling a little baking soda into the sink and scrubbing it. Rinse when you're done. Remove ink stains. Squirt rubbing alcohol onto the stain and let it sit for 10 minutes or more. Blot the stain with a damp cloth and see if the ink is gone. If not, repeat until the ink is removed. Once all the ink is gone, launder. Clean silverware marks off dishes. Make a paste of hydrogen peroxide and baking soda. Place on the dish and scrub. Wash when you're done. Remove blood stains. Squirt hydrogen peroxide onto the blood stain and let it sit for 10 minutes or more. Blot with a damp cloth to see if your stain is gone. If not, repeat it until it is. Once the stain is gone, launder as usual. 
So we're gonna start with creating some cleaners. This is an all natural soap, good ingredients, no harsh chemicals. So this glass container holds approximately two cups. And what we're going to do is put four tablespoons into the bottle. Next, we're gonna add water and fill it all the way up to the top. Now that the lid's on, we give it a little bit of a shake to get that soap mixed in with the water. And this one is ready to use. All you gotta do is spray your cleaner on. And I like to use washcloths that I can reuse so they're eco-friendly. So this cleaner is great for granite countertops. It's good for any surface. It will not hurt any surface. Once you're done, you rinse your little washcloth out and you can give it a little rinse. This cleaner is also good for sinks. Do not forget to use your cleaner. Go ahead and get it good and clean, kill all of those germs, and go ahead and rinse it all out. The best way to buff a faucet afterwards is a good old microfiber cloth. But you just go in and wipe the faucet and it shines right up. No need for harsh chemicals. So for this one, I'm using vinegar and I'm gonna pour in approximately one tenth and then I'm gonna fill the rest with water. So for this, I'll be using a mild abrasive sponge. Now, please note this is vinegar. So if you have any granite in your shower, do not use vinegar. Vinegar is an acid and it's really hard on granite. So you would want to use the other Castile soap. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray the vinegar mixture onto the tile and the grout. And then you use your sponge or washcloth onto and it will get your grout clean. This is great for floors as well, your backsplashes, any of that. And then all you do is rinse it off when you're done. Can you see all this white here? That is mineral deposits and soap scum that ends up on your shower. So there are two ways to work at your glass. One is to spray it with vinegar. Especially if you have those mineral deposits, this will eat away at them and help you clean them. Be careful again of what kind of sponge you use because you don't want it to scratch your glass. And then you just scrub your glass and you'll get all those deposits, at least as most you can. And then you'll rinse it all off. Now we're gonna talk about another great cleaner that most people have in their homes. And this is baking soda. Now baking soda is great for sinks, especially cast iron ones, but it is abrasive. So you can sprinkle this in your sink and scrub your sink. Works great on stainless. But let's talk about how to make a less abrasive cleaner for your home by pouring some baking soda into a bowl like so. Next, I'm gonna take some of that Castile soap, put about a tablespoon in and give it a little stir. Now you want this to make a paste so that it's ready to go, but it should be of a nice consistency like this. I'm just gonna scoop a little of it onto my sponge. And now you just work on scrubbing at your floor. So now this is disinfecting and giving a little scrub because in my basin, it's bumpy in here. So it's getting into the cracks. And then this is also good for fiberglass sinks and showers because we don't want to use anything abrasive in those, they'll scratch. And these can be applied to just about anywhere in your home. 